Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I will be explaining orthographic projections. Especially it is very important to understand the concept of orthographic projections. Let's see first of all the outlines of the session. First we will discuss about the importance of orthographic projections. Then we will discuss concept of orthographic projections. Then position of object and observer. Next glass box concept of the orthographic projections at last relative positions of different views like front view top view left hand side view right hand side view bottom view etc so let's see one by one all these points first importance of orthographic projections now look at this drawing so can you describe any object like this which is in your mind with verbal or written description is it possible to describe definitely no so we can say drawing actually is a graphical representation if compared with verbal or written description drawings offer far better idea about the shape size and appearance of any object or situation or location Hence, it has become the best media of communication not only in engineering but in almost all fields. So very simple, this engineering drawing concept is actually the best media of communication not only for the engineering but in almost all fields. An orthographic projection is a 2D representation of a 3D object. The 2D drawing represents different sides of an object that we will see in this presentation. So let's take one example to understand the 3D and 2D concept of orthographic projection. So here you can see this is the real 3D object and these are the different 2D views to represent the 3D object. Here you can see these are the three views that I have drawn over here separately and from these three views you can imagine the real 3D object. So this is called as the 3D object that means the picture of the object and these are the 2D views. Now see, there are actually six principal views of any object in orthographic projections. Here you can see, if the observer is over here, then this is the front view. That means looking from the front side. If you see from the top side, then it is called as the top view. Exactly opposite to the top view, that is known as the bottom view. If you see from the bottom side, then you will get the bottom view. Similarly, opposite to the front view, if you see from the back side, then it is called as the rear view. And from right side, if you see, then it is called as the right hand side view. Similarly, over here you can understand, if you see from the left side, then it is called as the left hand side view. So these are the six principal views of any object. Now here, once again see, this object is called as a 3D representation and these three views are called as the 2D orthographic views or you can say 2D representation. So once again look at from here if you see then it is called as a front view. So here you can see in the front view you can see this plane. Similarly over here this is the rectangle and this rectangle is over here. So if you see from the front view, then you can see this type of the view for this object. Similarly, if you see from the top side, then you will see the top view. And here you can see this is the top view. This rectangle is over here and this C shape is over here. Similarly, if you see from the right side, then you can see this type of the view for this object. Here you can see this is the plane. Here you can see and this is a plane. 
here you can see and this h you cannot see from this side that's why it is the dotted line or you can see the hidden line so this is the simple 3d representation of the object and 2d representation of the object that is called as the orthographic views here i have shown three different views but you can draw six different views for the same object so now see the position of the object and observer so to obtain the multi views that means the top view front view bottom view right hand side view left hand side view etc there are basically two different method first is called as the revolve the object with respect to the observer and second one is the observer move around the object so here revolve the object and here observer moves around the object so in this case the observer is having fixed position in this case the object is having fixed position now see in detail this two different approach so let's start from the first one revolve the object with respect to the observer so here this is the object and see this is the observer now here we have to revolve the object but the observer having the fixed position so let's see one by one the different view with respect to the observer and the object so if i want to see first of all the front view that means from this side then you have to revolve the object in front of the observer so it is like that so this is actually the front view from this side you can see this one is the front view similar way if you want to see the right hand side view so you have to see from the right side but once again don't move the observer but instead of that you have to revolve the object so it is like this the object is move and so that you can see the right hand side view next now if you see from the top side then you will get the top view so once again you have to revolve the object it is like this so here you can see this two rectangle here you can see this two rectangle and this is the top so this is one of the method where we are going to revolve the object and according to that you will get the different views now the second approach the observer move around the object so here this is the object and this one is the observer now see to get the front view you have to project on this plane and so that you will get these two rectangle first one is this one and second one is this one so you will get the front view like this next once again here observer move around the object so now see for the next case if you want to see the right hand side view then observer move over here and so that it will project on this plane and so that you will get this view similarly if you want to see the top view then observer move over here and according to that you will get the projection on this particular plane so you will see this type of the view that is called as the top view so in this case observer move according to the view next concept of glass box it is really very important to understand the relative position of the different views here i am taking the third angle projection method basically there are two different method first angle method and third angle projection method for the orthographic projection that also we will see in the next video but temporarily i am going to show you the very important concept of the glass box with respect to the third angle projection method so here this is one of the glass 
Now, if I want to take the different views, then I should open one by one. It is like this. Next, from here, I can open it. Next, from here. Next, from here. And so that you will get the different views with their relative position. So this is actually according to the third angle projection method. So here you can see this is the front view. This is the right hand side view. This is the left hand side view. Similarly, this is the bottom view. This is the top view like this. Now already we have discussed it. Now see one by one. If you want to see the front view, then this is the position of the observer. And so that you will see the two rectangle, this one and this one. So if I want to draw the front view, then I will see like this. Next, for the right hand side view, the observer move over here. And from this position, they can see this two rectangle, one horizontal and another one is the vertical. So here you can see L shape. Now if I want to draw the top view, then you should move over here. And from this direction you should see. So you will get these two rectangle. So it is like this. Next, bottom view. So you have to see from the bottom side. And so that you will see only one rectangle over here. That is the bottom rectangle. And this rectangle you can't see. And so that it will be the dotted line. So this dotted line that is for this edge actually. Because of from the bottom side you can't see this edge. That's why it is the hidden edge. And hidden edge is represented by the dotted line. Next, left hand side view. If you see from this direction, then you will see the two rectangle. So it is like as this L shape from this side. Like this. Next rear view. So from the back side. So you will see this two rectangle one and two. But from the back side you can't see this rectangle. That means this edge is actually the hidden edge. Here you can see. So these are the relative position of the different views and keep in mind that in the examination you should draw the different views according to this position only as per the third angle projection method. Now very important features of the orthographic projection. Here you can see the height that is actually common in front view right hand side view and left hand side view as well as in rear view. So the height is common in these four views and this height is actually the height of this object. Next, width. Once again width is common in top view, front view and bottom view. Here you can see and this width that is actually this one. So this width is common in this three view. So width must be the same in this three view. Similarly, height is the same in these four views. Next, depth. So this depth is the same over here in this top view and in right hand side view. And the same depth will be in the left hand side view. So once again, depth is common in top view and the same depth is over here in the right hand side view as well as in the left hand side view. So here you can see in the left hand side view, you can see the depth. And the same depth you can see in the top view also. That's why in the top view, right hand side view and in the left hand side view, the depth is same. Which method is the best? Read your answer in the comment box. Means either the third angle projection method or first angle projection method. 
so that we'll see in the next video so that exactly you can understand the two different method for the orthographic projection third angle projection method and first angle projection method so thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate it